keepers It's time to get the facts from the big secret keepers UFOs passing by when I look up in the sky We're out here asking why, but we don't get no reply We want disclosure, we need the actual facts They're covering all the tracks But we're not backing down, it's our time Stay on the grind Why the big secret's about to blow your mind Right, truth seekers it is the day in the end of the week and as always this is friday we're at the unx network and we have the you know i was gonna call it freaky friday today but we're gonna call it friday night frights and uh whatever you want to do but anyway i'm roderick martin i want to welcome you to the youtube show why the big secret we're live streaming here on youtube but also airing on the unx network and so if you're listening there uh then hey we got a great show for you tonight we got some stuff that i think is well we can call it breaking news but i think at the end of the day it's going to be some hot topics uh, a blast from the past i would call it that is now coming out today and it's about those infamous photos the Calvine photos, and now all of a sudden, although it was topic of destruction in the past, people talked about it, there was remnants of it, now the true photos has been released, and we're going to talk about that tonight in the show, we're going to have an open discussion, so I hope you have enjoyed your week, and we got a lot of things we're going to do, and uh, we're going to do that as well, so anyway, I am saying I'm in the jumbo state where the UFOs come out to play. And yeah, I know it's a Texas thing. And so I just want to welcome you. Uh, you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be right here right now. And with that being said, I like to bid you, well, how about this? I'll bid you good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you may be in the 24 time zones of YouTube watching the show and wherever you're listening to it live on the radio with UNX, the UNX network, where you're going to get everything paranormal. Uh, and believe me, there is a plethora of information and shows on the UNX network. And so definitely check that out. I'm Roderick Martin, the host of this podcast. Uh, why the big secret and so again i hope that uh you're going to be really excited about what we're going to be talking about so when you get an opportunity smash the like button okay so let's get into the show uh and it's that time and so let me kind of get you guys ready for that as well and we'll do that so first let me look over into the chat uh and say hello to the people that's there kurt is here this today Pooh kitten all right greetings everyone freya what's going on with you c tech what's going on with you uh and i know we're a little early for the crew so there'll be a few people popping in there late saying wait a minute we started early now nah, that's on fridays and that's what we do so either which way there's a great replay that they're going to be able to watch it from there uh, from, you know, when it comes down to it. So anyway, we're going to be talking about the Calvin, uh, Calvin photos, I'm sorry, uh, which is originally with some photos that was taken in the early 90s uh, in the UK. And basically there was a cover up with the photos that actually began right off the bat when this thing came out. And there was a lot of conversations about it. Nick Pope has written about it. A lot of podcasts has been been talked about these photos and one in particular reason probably is because these was probably one of the most uh, clear photos at the time even though we was getting recreation photos and it was supposedly uh, dubbed as one of the best ones out there although again there, there was just uh, areas that it just really uh, wasn't really seen we, we just didn't see it so over the years there's been recreation photos of this thing there has been lots of conversations you know these 
grimy photos of it. And then all of a sudden, a bombshell. Uh, the actual photos got found. There, they were supposed to have been lost. There was a, the negatives, so to speak. All these things were sort of just been mysteriously disappeared, uh, which is nothing new in this industry. Of course, uh, we know that uh, they can make people disappear. Those big secret keepers and uh, and that photos is simple uh, order to make disappear. So I'm not surprised. But the fact that they resurfaced has caused a lot of buzz today, without without a shadow of a doubt. In most of all the the, the areas that we talk about UFOs. And so, you know, rightfully so, we would like to get on that conversation ourselves and just kind of give you a roundabout conversation. And then we'll definitely bring a few people in uh, to kind of just give a discussion of what they think about it in the history of this thing. And then I'll cover that with you. So we have Aaron is here as well. Hi, what's going on? Uh, and like I say, make sure you guys like the show. And then also uh, when it's over with, post your comments and sharing. So uh, before we really get into it, um, I've always asked, and I'll do it again, if anyone had any UFO experience that you want to share, uh, now will be the great time to uh, talk about it so we can kind of know what's going on with you. And if you followed our conversation that we had yesterday, uh, take a look at that. We have the greatness of Marie, the ghost hunter. Uh, and we really had a real good conversation yesterday about the paranormal, about the UFOs, the intersection uh, of both. And then, and, you know, and she told us about one of the events that she went on or excursions, I call it, uh, or expedition, expedition, I'm sorry. And, and, and you know, she claims that, that, hey, it was really different than all a lot of ones that she went on. And there was possibly a shape shifter. There was possibly, um, you know, the, the place supposed that probably had some great aliens and portals. We, we, we covered a lot of possibilities about that. So, again, if you have an opportunity, make sure you go back and watch yesterday's live stream and you probably won't be disappointed uh, in that as well. Uh, several days prior to that, you know, we talked about some things in the Bible. So you want to go back and watch some of those. Uh, and if you had an opportunity to go over to Forbidden Knowledge, uh, we we talked about, we did a deep dive in the, the uh, Tucker Carson and Dr. Nolan's interview and really went through not only the impact of that interview, but in, in there was a few bombshells there. So that's a weekend review, you know, so give you an opportunity to go back and look at some of the things that we talked about all this week, if you missed it. Uh, and then once again, uh, here, so, uh, Nicole says, Hey, what's going on, everybody. Welcome Nicole. And, um, and like I said, tonight we're, we're probably have a conversation. And then if there's any of you, uh, that want to hop in on a panel talk that we can talk about tonight, you know, uh, send me a, uh, email, uh, to contact at why the big And then I'll send you an invite link. Uh, and then, you know, you can come up in a live stream with us tonight, uh, if you so choose. And then let me know in the comments that you sent the email. That way I go back and check for it. Okay. Uh, and then just send you a link to, to come in as well. So with that being said, uh, is anyone in the audience familiar um, with the Calvine photo? If you are, uh, let me see, a, a, you know, a uh, comment here in the computer. So, you know, on the text chat, <laughs> how about that? Yeah, if, you, if you're familiar with this particular photo, uh, I definitely want to uh, get your your thoughts, your opinions, and and uh, or just kind of know your knowledge based uh, when it came down or come down to this photo. Uh, Fred says I am not familiar. Uh, JJ say UAP enthusiast Vinnie Adams was one of the individuals that went to Dr. David Clark with the Shellfield in England to retrieve this long lost photo from the retired. Uh, uh, Air Force there, press officer Craig Lindsley. Okay, so uh, JJ is giving y'all a quick synopsis there, and then we, you know we'll talk about that as well. So, anyways, anyone else in the audience that uh, if you're familiar with this photo, go ahead and, and if you're not, and that'll let me know how in depth that we want to go into this tonight. Is it, you know it is a conversation, it is something that uh, we can just talk about because what happens is uh, again this is. Uh, and you will see some of the photos of it tonight. I'm going to show you. And I think 
you know, again, the hoopla about it, number one, it's that it's always been talked about. It's always been talked about as the clear evidence that UFOs exist and that we're not alone in the universe. Uh, and so extraterrestrial life and all of these things truly exist. Uh, but what was profound about it, again, is uh, is the clarity, where it was taken, uh, what type of object it was, uh, and all of those things just sit and simply uh, added up. And then, of course, uh, Nick Pope himself, who was the former Ministry of Defense there, worked with them. You know, he was really instrumental in the uh, beginning process of this uh, particular photo. In fact, it was rumored that uh, there was some point that he actually had the photo itself, although it wasn't totally released to the public on his wall uh, in his office until uh, his boss uh, took it or took it off the wall. So the photos was on the office wall. Yeah. At the MOD where, uh, Nick Pope work. Yeah. The true story. Then it was taken down, never seen again until today. Yeah. So, uh, and those are things that, uh, we would probably at some point reach out to Nick and I'm sure his phone has been blowing up. Um, and, uh, so I think it's just something that, uh, you know, again, you know, he's, he's probably again, just, yeah, he's probably just like, what is really happening? So I'll kind of show you some photos of of everything as we get down to what we're doing here, too. But uh, that is the greatness of Nick Pope. Um, I'm just bringing some things up on his, on the thing here so we can talk about some of the things that he talked about that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, and so I met Nick Pope just to kind of give you a storyline. And that's what some of the stuff I was showing you. Uh, him and I have a history. This is me and uh, Nick Pope doing a tv show and uh i'm just watching him do his part man this guy is just brilliant uh and this was a tv show that he was actually uh doing and then of course uh, another occasion we you know had some dinner and just kind of uh, met each other so i know him personally a great guy in fact he's really instrumental uh in helping me uh, in the area, uh, of my career. Uh, so I, I, it was just one of those things that I thought was pretty cool. Kirk says Pope, uh, has talked about a lot by trying to, uh, yeah, recreate that. Yeah, he did. In fact, I do have one of the, and it's kind of weird because even though the original photo was taken off his wall, he actually went back and did a recreation, um, and this is what had been surfaced in a while. And so when you think about the recreation photo, then all of a sudden we go back and look at the original photo. Uh, and it was just kind of again. But anyway, now I'm just showing y'all there's a couple of more photos there. That's me and uh, Nick, um, you know, several occasions. Like I said, uh, I know the man pretty well, and he's been really instrumental. He's pretty cool. So I thought I'd just put that in the backdrop so you guys can kind of check that out a little bit. Uh, and we just kind of, yeah, his recreation was spot on. Um, and, uh, I have that. I'll show that. I was wondering if anyone did any overlay between today's picture and the one that was released. Well, I did a, uh, and I'll just show it, but we'll bring it back, um, in a minute, a, but here's the two, that's the recreation photo on the left and then the original on the right. And so we will, um, bring that into conversation here in a minute. So I just wanted to pop that out since you asked the question. So that is on the same mind of all of us, yeah, especially mine when we gets down to uh, what we what we want to do from there. But you got to remember <clears throat> the original picture uh, at that time uh, when people start coming out it was kind of this grainy black and white photo. OK, so it was really kind of grainy uh, at that time. But then when you think about the original photo that is now shown today, and then you look at the one that Nick Pope had recreated. Now, there's some missing elements, uh, the landscaping. And like I said, we'll show that. We'll talk about all of that in a minute. Uh, but the landscaping was a little different as well. Uh, and so all of those things were pretty much pretty evident. But let's just first let's get down to a few details that I have for you. Uh, one of the things that stood out to most um, when I was doing some research and, and, and I did a little more because, okay, it came out today. It was pretty hyped and stuff. So I'm like, okay, let, let's check this out. Uh, <clears throat> a number of those negatives 
uh, associate with the sightings. They said now, and here, here's one of the things, um, it, this came out here, this statement that I'm about to read you came out in 1996. Okay. Cause the photo came out a few years before the encounter. Okay. Came out what's going on. Robbie is, uh, came out just a little before, but Nicholas Samosa, if that for I pronounce his name, right. Was the minister of the state for the armed forces. And he gave a written a p- reply. This is when all this, the sugar honey iced tea hit the fan about this photo. He came back and his statement was uh, a number of the negatives associated with the sighting was examined by the staff responsible for air defense matters. Since it was judged that they contain nothing, listen to this, nothing of the defense significance, the negatives were not retained, and we have no record of any photograph being taken from them. So right there, the cover-up started. It started right there. And, and again, Nick Pope mentioned he had the original picture in his office. Uh, and they came, and all of a sudden, someone ended up taking this picture from him. Um, and uh, hang on a second. They came and took the picture. So this is the original photo in the right here. And this is what surfaced today, so to speak. But Nick Pope uh, had a copy of this at the time. And all of a sudden, they yeah, they came and they took it, you know. And so I thought it was pretty weird uh, what they were saying when it came down to that. But, yeah, that, hey, that was one of those things. And uh, we just kind of look at it from there. But I'm going to read it again. And I thought this was kind of weird. So what do y'all think about this? In 1996, this is the statement that they put out. A number of negative. This is from Nicholas Somers. This is the minister of state of arms. Okay. He said a number of negatives associated with the sighting was examined by the responsible air defense staff. So you get, you know, this is meaning top people who supposedly trying to look and see was this a ufo and was it something bad or not since it was judged that they contain nothing of defense significance now why would they at this point want to say that the ufo sighting had no defense significance so they didn't as you notice they didn't say uh there was some ufo in it they didn't want to acknowledge that but then they come back and say it had nothing significant. And this is, like I said, this came out in 1996, which was some years later. And, you know, since they said, hey, it had nothing in it, we didn't retain and have no record of the photographs being taken. What do you think they're thinking about now? And, and first of all, why the big secret? Why the big secret would they not want once again now we're not talking back you know we're talking early on but why the big secret why would they not want to talk about this so so let me look here in the statements here c text is how it works someone makes statements declarations implications and the world shreds or attempts to debunk it due to no hard evidence the years later it all comes out okay that's fine but what i'm saying is why would this be so significant as it is be a big secret? Because clearly, as you can see, and, and you know what, let me bring it up a little bigger for you. Clearly, you can see that this UFO uh, at this time is a UFO. So we can call it UAP if this is what y'all want to call it. But this UFO, um, it, it's shaped a little different. So it doesn't have the, the, the same thing as the uh, flying saucers that we hear a lot about, but it definitely has some remnants of uh, a, a different type of UFO. And so when you think about it, why would they have this as the big secret? Um, and I don't know. So maybe you guys can say, Hope said we started an hour early. Yes, on Fridays, it's an hour early uh, because we stream live on a radio station at the UNX network. Uh, and so, but thank you for coming, Hope, and sorry about the uh, time frame here. So, yeah, yeah. So, Sean, yeah, why the big secret? Uh, without the E, buddy? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> yeah, we'll use that. So, all right. So, <clears throat> here's the deal, though. All this tells everyone is this, and, and this is what I want y'all to think about. Today, we, we steady have this approach, the big secret keepers, 
that there's something flying around, but we don't really know what it is, but it may be not a threat. Maybe it is, but we just don't have any evidence. So we're not going to go there. Okay. Once again, the, here's clear evidence that there's evidence of evidence that's been there. They've been having this stuff. It's been in somebody's archives and make no mistake about it. This wasn't just uh, hidden out of plain sight. Okay. It, this is, this is just not it. Hang on a second. Yeah. So make no mistake about it. It wasn't no mistake. Okay. Uh, that it disappeared. Somebody made it disappear. Okay. And like Nick Pope said, it was on his office desk. Somebody made it disappear. Uh, and okay. We don't have to go wide no more. Cause we know they, the, the main part of it, they just didn't want anybody to know it. And in the picture, there's a military aircraft. So you can't tell me that the pilot of that aircraft and anybody else didn't know this thing existed for them to go back and say, all right, this is it. So it even went to a point where Nick Pope said, you know what? We're going to try to recreate this thing. Okay. We're going to try to recreate it. And this is coming out of his mind describing the picture maybe and or he could have already said you know we're going to get this as close as we can get but take a look at that this is a recreation of the original photo and when i tell you you know when you look at the original then i'm gonna show you side by side these things is no joke this is no joke so the question once again is why the big secret why would they do this uh, and, and, and so here, here's some stuff there. So I'm gonna give you a little more facts here, but let's look at them side by side. There you go. Um, and once again, the main thing is, is the lines. Now, supposedly there was something else involved. They called it, um, as I read into my notes, I highlighted it, but they called it the, um, let me make sure I got this, the D notice. Okay. There was something called the D notice, which began the whole cover-up. The D notice was what was causing the cover-up to begin, okay? And so, obviously, that, that was an issue uh, when it came down to it. So, this this D notice uh, began the process of, you know, the cover-up, and this is where it all started. So, I think once we start looking into this stuff, and, and so, now, Nick Pope <clears throat> is the subject of all conversations today, Okay. Uh, and people has been calling and all that. And so uh, I was going to reach out to him too, cause we know each other, but this is business. So I got to kind of like, all right, let me put this to the side, but he did come out with a tweet today. Uh, and he posted this right here on the screen that's on Twitter. And he says the Calvine UFO photos update. He says further to my previous statement, I can now say that I won't be able to go beyond my original neither confirm nor deny in relations to the providence of the photo released today and my position on the incident is as stated here so all he's saying is i can't tell y'all i'm not going to tell you if it's fake or if it's real but here's the deal we already know that he created a photo that he uh a recreation so this is the recreation photo that nick did and so you know we already know but i know his hands is tied so he can't just come out and and tell us a lot of this stuff he can't just do that so uh, i get it i understand it completely uh some of the situations that he's doing so that i do know so what i'm gonna do in just a second <clears throat> drink some more water obviously my voice is getting his butt kicked today and uh we're going to see. <clears throat> so if anyone else got any questions about these photos, I'm going to bring a, you know, a couple of people in, in a minute, and we're going to talk about it a little bit, but in the meantime, let me just see here first. Uh, so Ra uh, Mateo, what do you think about the photo? Let me go with you first there. Hey, how you doing? Hi everybody. Uh, um, yeah, I, it tells me the first thing I said was all those years that Nick Pope, was putting out his recreation, which he had professionally made. Right, right. Spot on. And he wasn't kidding. He wasn't lying. He wasn't making mm -hmm. up a story about that fuzzy black and white photo. He yep, nailed yep. it. He even mentioned, I think at one point, that 
the people who saw the recreation, who were in the same office with him after the original disappeared from the sight of everybody, those people said it's spot on. So I think it just lends tremendous credence to Nick and his whole legacy, which, you know, he's been under fire lately too, kind of like Lou Elizondo, where people yeah, and, and, say and, he's didn't work there and all this rubbish. He, he, he clearly did. And this is the real deal. So. Well, you think about it. You think this whole thing would be vindication for him, yes. uh, but he don't have to confirm it now. He don't have to go back and confirm anything to anyone because the evidence is here. The recreation photo. And then uh, right now, side by side, you're looking at the recreation photo on the left and then the original. He damn got it right. Uh, and almost kind of like, whoa, how did it almost look like <laughs> they just said, let's put these two images, you know, in a place. So that there alone tells you, you know, the involvement where he was with this. And I think at the end of the day, um, again, I don't expect for him to come out now again. Do I know him? Yeah, I know him, you know, and, and I'll show you all the photos again. You know, here it is right there. Now it's all of us there. So mm -hmm. that's. Uh, I've worked with him in on several occasions. Uh, we, we text on the phone. And so I, I didn't want to violate that and say, okay, Hey, let me reach out just like everybody else. Right. Uh, but yeah. I'm sure at some point oh, he, yeah. will, he, <laughs> he ran into hiding today because his phone is blowing up. I'm his sure. phone is blowing <laughs> up. And so this is perfectly yeah. great right there. If him saying, Hey guys, I'm not, I ain't deny, I, I'm not denying nor is am I confirmed. Yep. His Nothing. tweet was perfect. He needs, he need not say anything further, right? Yes. He's, yeah. He can just, the, the pictures speak for themselves. Now everybody can say, well, geez, Nick wasn't lying. And he, he, he need not say anything further. So he can, it's all out there now. So, well, what I'm going to question is, is what the heck was that thing? But that's another topic. Well, for later we'll today. talk about that in a minute. I'm going to yeah. put you in, in the storehouse here sure. because. Your secret is out. What's my now, secret? Somebody, somebody in the chat says, oh, oh. my God. I am oh, come on. You haven't old. seen this. I found <laughs> out that Mateo is C-Tex. I'm so yeah. sure. Yep. Well, no. we've, been, we've, been, we've been hiding it all along, though. We've been hiding it. Yeah, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm all out and exposed now. c -Tech is the name of my company. So if anybody knows my company, they'll be like, hey, what are you doing on Roderick's channel? I'll be like, well. There you go. Invited guest. <laughs> all right, man. Well, hang around. All right. All right. So, you know, and I'm going to get, you know, someone else in here in just a minute. But again, just like you heard Mateo saying, you know, what's the real deal? Yeah, we know Nick Pope is taking a, a hit. He's always took a hit. And now it's like, do we blame him? Was he supposed to do? First of all, do he owe us anything? No, that man don't owe us to. It, you know, come out and got to remember this man had an oath. He had, you know, uh, security clearances, all of these things where you still got to protect it. In fact, it goes so deep. I was reading in a report that they had no plans on releasing any of this stuff. In fact, the MOD said what was being withheld to 2072. So at this point, this is 2030, 22. So you're talking 50 more years. That means I, I will be a hundred. I'm sorry. Yeah. So that's 17 plus 13 plus five plus 20 plus two plus an extra 50. So that I would be a hundred a decade. Is that decades or a century? That's a century. Oh, so they was going to hold this stuff back. It was not coming out. Yeah. So smash the like button, everyone as well. So, you know, it's one of those things. So Rob, what do you think about that? You, you kind of been keeping up with all of this that's coming out. What are your thoughts? I just got to follow up with C-Tech. This is a vindication for Mr. Nick Pope. Uh, I think he's a valuable asset to the ufology community, even though a lot of people have been saying differently lately. This just shows you uh, that, that he really did what he said that he did. OK, um, the picture has come out. It shows what is clearly a UFO, if this is authentic, which I understand he can't confirm or deny at this point, but you might as well confirm it because it's exactly, uh, 
you know, what he recreated on his own image. So um, I, I tweeted earlier, I was like, uh, you know, shame on you uh, for not investing in, in that Nick stock, Nick Pope stock earlier. Now it's through the roof. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't blame you for that. And I, and again, I think it's one of those things that, you know, when you when you look at this, this whole picture, why everybody is saying, OK, we're going to focus on the photos. I tend to be in, in, in UFO investigator. Rob is saying, wait a minute. All right, this serves two purposes. Okay, it's confirmation for Nick Pope, vindication, number one. On the other side of this, this is another blatant way for people to understand. This stuff is real, guys. These things have been around here. These UFOs have been around. Uh, and now I'm going to mind boggle some of y'all in just a second here. Rob, that's not a orb, and that's not a flying saucer. That's a different type of UFO. Right. So that means... And, no, I was going to say, in thinking of that, I was going to say, and in, in to that point, it just, it, it made me think about uh, the whole Jeremy Corbell situation with the pyramid-shaped UFOs. And they're like, oh, no, it's not pyramid-shaped. Well, this is clearly a diamond-shaped UFO. Uh, so why couldn't we have a pyramid-shaped UFO? I just felt like with everything going on right now, you know, we... We talked earlier in the week about Gary Nolan and all these things just dropping one after one after one to where it feels like disclosure is here. Then the photo that wasn't supposed to come out for another 50 years all of a sudden shows up. Uh, this this just makes me feel like disclosure is like almost imminent, like we're like right there. I'm like, what's next? You know, what's I, next? I, I, I think that, uh, you know, it's. I'm not in the same room with you on that, that disclosure is intimate. I get what you're saying, though. I still think that the only thing we're going to get is what happened today, a leak. Because they will constantly, it's not like they're going to open up the doors, Rob, and say, well, all right, we're going to tell y'all everything. No, they're only going to admit to what we find out that they cannot dispute. Because outside of that, that's it. They're never going to open the door. And say, here, come on and look inside the whole UFO room, Rob and Roderick. Yeah, that's that's not happening. And so, and, and for the community too, the truth seekers. And so all this happened was it slipped out. Nick mentioned it. He mentioned it enough that he could talk about it. They covered it up. And now, and, and obviously it wasn't something they was probably covering up because he had it on his office desk. They went back and stole this thing. So I don't know, man. I think, uh, you know, I don't know. But I get what you're saying, but I don't think we're that close. See, and when I say that, I don't mean that the government is preparing to disclose. I, I'm with the you. Big I don't secret feel keepers. Like that's, that's what we call them. big, Big secret keeper, exactly. Yeah. I don't feel like that they're going to disclose it. It's the truth seekers who are essentially the detectives, the ones who are looking in, through all these avenues and, and bringing things like this out. This wasn't released by the government. This was released by a citizen. So I feel like disclosure is going to come through truth seekers doing the detective work to uncover these things. And then just to add to that, uh, uh, briefly, uh, C-Tech or Mateo and I spoke about um, the Randall Nickerson uh interview that he had done with uh, post disclosure world. I want to say, I think it's Ryan Robbins. However, he said um, in the interview, he asked, he, he stated that he's seen videos that are smoking gun evidence that are not currently in the possession of any government. However, they are being held in another country and they are, he believes they're set to be seen and released this year. And he says, smoking gun evidence so you add that along with everything else is going on i just feel like disclosure is imminent from a truth seeker standpoint as far as us uncovering you know not waiting on the secret keepers and us right. uncovering the stuff on our own i think that's what's happening agreed all right i couldn't agree more 
All right, you guys hang around a little bit. We're going to get back into the talk. Don't just take a break. Just take a break. Just we'll, we'll get y'all back in here in a little bit. All right. So like, like you just heard Rob said, and, and Rob is like millions of other people. I think he, he is on point to where stuff is slipping through the cracks for the big secret keepers. Things are coming out. Uh, but then again, I don't side with the point of, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get more and more, even everything is a smoking gun to me. I, I, and I agree with him on that. And Lou Alexander has been flagging the ultimate photo of the world is going to come out too, or video, so to speak, that we're going to see that supposed to be undeniable, you know, almost like DNA. That's your baby, Roderick, you know, that kind of, that kind of proof, you know what I'm saying? But at the, and, and I, I don't have no new kids. So don't y'all, I got two daughters. Um, and uh, so, grown daughters <laughs> at that so at this point i think it's it's in it's i i just i don't buy it i don't buy it i'm a ufo investigator uh, here in the state of texas and i've seen enough information i've been around this long enough and like i said they had everybody hopes up when 180 day thing was supposed to be coming back out in june of back then and we was all excited this is it we're gonna Man, they, they finna buckle down. Them big secret keepers getting ready to get so tight with their game. Uh, we got to change the rule. Now, he, Rob is correct. The true seekers are the people that's going to press the buttons, and 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 that is going to be us digging deeper. And like you said, this was released uh, more on a civilian side than some military side. So, okay, I'm down with the program on that. And so we're, 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 we're going to agree with him on that. Uh, yeah, Philip Nick Pope is the real deal. Yeah, he really is. I, I really like him, and I think he's cool. Uh, a lot of people, you know, hold people uh, accountable to information that they think they want or they think we deserve to hear. And this man, you know, again, he he cannot just come out and tell everybody everything. Uh, but don't get me wrong. You know, him and I have the same <clears throat> the same agent. And my agent is a great agent. And I'm sure he picked up the phone, called Nick Pope and says, say nothing to no one, you know, and uh, unless unless they're going to bring up the Brinks truck. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm with him, you know, and there ain't nobody calling me, but I'm just saying uh, and not saying it's about the money. But if that's the way we're going to roll it and the people in the public are going to treat me that way. Yeah, you're going to pay me today. You're going to pay me and I don't blame him. And I'm not saying he would do that, uh, but I'm saying if I was him, well, would I be like that? Because, you know, I'm in Brokeville and it's crowded in this town. He's not in the same town. I mean, but regardless, I'm like, mm -mm, no, we pff, bring the chatter, baby. You want to know? Bring the chatter. Because right now I unequivocally deny or I don't confirm. Oh, you want me to confirm? Okay, let me see how much. It's not enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is enough. I got you. So I'm just saying it's so then you're going to get him ridiculed for that. You're going to get people saying, oh, now he's on all these shows because he's trying to make money. Really? Really? Okay. So anyway, let me just get off that box. But what I'm saying is this is real, folks. All this shows is that all this back talk, all of this. And, and, and I'm saying this is real because that was a military jet in that photo. And the military is the main one deny, deny, deny that this don't exist. That wasn't no uh, a crop duster that was sitting in that photo. That was a well armed military armed thing with missiles and, and, and flying at a speed behind it. Of course, <laughs> it ain't keeping up with it, but that was a military jet. Okay, so, yeah, we got the military doing their statement, okay? We got the military, and I read it to you early. I'll read it back to you. Nicholas Simonis, Simonis is, that's his name. He's the minister of the state for the armed forces at the U.K. He gave a written reply on the MP's question, and this was in July at the Hansard Deb or whatever, July 24, 1996. This is way back then. Some years after this thing. And his quote was, this is a military response. I'm a, let me read it to you. Just, pay, just, just wait on it. Wait on me. It may be a little Ebonics in this. Just, 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 just wait. He says, a number of the negatives 
associated with the sighting was examined by our staff responsible for air defense matters. I can stop right there. I can stop right there. I don't even have to say no more. I can drop the mic because he said they examined this by responsible air defense matters. Okay. Now we have this, this, this issue that, that these things are not a threat, that this is no uh, matter uh, or the airspace is not. Okay. They didn't say this was examined by, you know, the, I don't know, the dog society. This is the air defense matters. Okay. Shoes. Now, since he goes, since it was judged that it contained nothing of defense significance. So let me show y'all this as I read this freaking statement to you. That thing that's in that photo was judged that it contained nothing of a defense significance. And so therefore, we're going to throw away the photos and we're going to throw away the negatives. And they didn't keep the negatives. Okay. All right. So it didn't attack nothing. Okay. I know y'all eat me up. Roderick. Yeah. It, it's not. It, it, okay. It didn't attack, but it is flying around in airspace unrestricted itself, not them because it's restricted airspace. So it's got a problem. And again, this was significant back in the day. So I like the cover stories that was top stories back then. Uh, the lesson known, but this was known a lot. But now how does that impact where we are today? And I used to have a little thing. I used to have a little thing and, and we can put that into, uh, I'm just going to play my little music for you, but. We can put Looking that into at the, the stories old news. of yesterday to better understand today. Old news. <laughs> so, was old news new news today? Absolutely. It became new news today. That was old news. Now it is today's news. New revelations. Exciting discoveries. Today's news. Right? From why the big yeah, secret. Okay. So, where I'm going with this is. It was old news. Now it is today's news. And we're talking about today because it's significant. Why is it significant? Why is it a big secret? Because they didn't, there could be other implications. Now we're talking about military tech, but what I'm stating is the obvious to you all. That is not a triangle. That's not an orb. It's not a flying saucer. That is another model of a UFO. Just as much as we got Ford, Mitsubishi, uh, whatever Chrysler, that's the more aliens, people. That's another group of aliens. That's all I'm trying to say. That's another group of aliens that's out there driving a different vehicle, and we can see it. If that thing, what well, I'm gonna bring it back up because I know you're probably saying, I don't know, but let me show you. That is significantly different. And let's do his recreation so at least you know that we got a better picks. Here you go, take a look at those side by side. But look at that thing. Now, what's so ironic is that it cre that recreation has the same black spots on it, the same plan. And so I that's cool. But okay, Magnetica says this is a flying saucer. That's not a flying saucer. Flying saucer doesn't have a a, a pyramid bottom shape. Okay. Uh, but what that does mean is there's somebody else out there. And this is why I tell everybody we we think ultimately the grays, that's all we talk about. We think the grays, the grays, the grays. But obviously, there's some more people out there. There's some more. I don't know who's in that. I'm not telling you that I know who's driving that particular spacecraft. But why the big secret, right? So let me check some of the comments here a little bit and see. Justin Michael says, good to see you back, Roderick. I'm late, but we'll rewatch what I missed. Cool. Justin, appreciate you. Uh, Grandmaster says, what up, man? All right, what's going on? Margaret is in the house, and she says control would be back in the people's hands rather than the small po population of power holders. We would hope so, uh, Margaret. We would hope that control would be back with the people. You know, uh, that is the truth seeker's mission. We want that, you know, but these big secret keepers got more money than we got, you know. You know, I'm still trying to get 
five dollar contributions to keep up with them. <laughs> so yeah, they're well organized and paid. They are simply paid. Let me, do I have a banner tonight? Let me see if I got one. Why the big secret banners? Oh uh, yeah. All right. Let's try that one. Boom. There's a PayPal. If you want to support the show, you can. Uh, we're going to be talking about this book in a little bit and taking more raffles. Um, so, if, you know, rack a dackle if you're in the public uh, in the thing tonight, we do need that address. Um, but either way, I think it's it's one of those things. But if you want to support the show, if you find value in what we're doing tonight, definitely uh, you can send your instant report um, or support. I should call it because it's, it's all in the same pot and everything else. And uh that's one of those things. Only if you, you know if you find value. Hopefully, you find value. We try to put together value for you. Um, basically, it's Friday night. How about that? It's Friday night. Uh, here's the cash app if you want to do that. It's Friday night, and if, if you were going to go to a movie or spend money on a popcorn, and you find that this is show worthy, then whatever you was going to spend on a ticket, how about that? Send it over. You was going to spend it anyway. He's going to do it anyway. And so we're going to entertain you infotainment. Uh, we're going to do that. So uh, anyway, I'm loving it. I'm loving this because this is a ufologist moment. All right, then we have a super chat. Appreciate it. Let me bring it up into my chat screen. Uh, comments there. Hang on. Got you. All right. So there we go. Appreciate it, Daryl. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you. And Daryl says, hey, here you go. I was going to get a movie ticket. Let me give it to you. All right. Appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you uh, for the blessing as well. Um, but, you know, again, I think it's it's one of those things that, uh, you know, that we, we look into. Uh, and I think it's uh, something that, again, I'm telling everybody this. As we go further down this rabbit hole and tonight's Friday. So I'm just talking tonight because it's, it's all good, right? Uh, we're here on the UNX network. Uh, we're live streaming and broadcasting through the radio station there. You're welcome to go to the UNX network.com. Um, the X is what we want to call it. The um, unexplained network. Hey, and there's a plethora of stores shows. I'm sorry. Christina Gomez, which I love this young lady. Go check her out. Demi Church is, is on there. Um, you have all kinds of shows that you can get all kind of UFO stuff when you do that uh, from there. All right, so I'm about to take you on a journey. We're going to talk about this some more. So if you guys are ready to kind of let's go deeper into this thing uh, so we can kind of look and see what's going on here um, from there. So. Let me give you a recap for those who just hopping in with us. I'm Roderick Martin, and you probably know that already. Uh, if you have an opportunity, go check out some of my TV shows that's airing right now, which is um, Alien Endgame. You're going to find it on Discovery Plus, and it'll be on Travel Channel soon. Uh, go check that out. Uh, you won't be disappointed uh, in that. And In fact, Nick Pope and I is in that particular show together. Uh, go check out that, and then go to... Um, you know, forbidden knowledge TV. You got to do that and, and check out the Black Knight Satellite Beyond the Signal. And that's with Billy Carson's new documentary. I'm also in that one as well. And then on Fox Tubi, Gaia, you'll find me on some of those shows. And then a couple other things is coming out. I'm only just saying this to say I've been around this UFO thing knee deep. And when stuff like this hit the fan, um, and then you get people out there want to ridicule. Nick Pope, because he was in a position, he told everybody already. I don't know what people are looking for. The man already told us. He told us in his books. He did the recreation of this thing. He told them that the uh, the photo was stolen off his wall. What are you going to do? Go and just fire his boss? How do you do that? You know, how do you fire your boss for stealing the photo that's now part of history? As dubbed as one of the greatest evidence that there is something else out there flying around that we don't know what it is. Yes. You want to call it a UFO. I call it a UFO. Okay. And let you know a UFO is anything flying around that we don't know what it is. So uh, anything in our airspace that we can't identify is a unidentified flying object and not all 
unidentified flying objects or extraterrestrials. Okay. However, however, all the extraterrestrials use UFOs to get around in. How about that? <laughs> so, okay, using orbs and stuff too. All right. So let me kind of check into the chat. And since I'm losing my chat here, um, all right. So at this point, I'm going to open up. If any of you out there, you want to get into the conversation, you know, hit me on the chat. Let me know. You sent me your email to contact at why the big And then I will uh, send you a email invite. Then you will pop up on this screen. And you'll say hi, Roderick, and I'll say welcome to Why the Big Secret. You're live, and you can share your conversation. Uh, unlike Zoom, we do require you to be dressed completely at some point, and then we want you to, uh, you know, chime in on it. So Logan says hi. Mike says keep doing big things. Just just got locked in. Appreciate it. Hope you subscribe to the channel uh, and share the channel because it's time for us to share it. I, I really want. Uh, people to begin to share because we're going to start having some great shows. We already having that. Hold on. We're going to start bringing some more impactful people to interview to the show for you. Uh, and we're going to provide you information again, that you can read things. You can see things that you can hear so that we do open your curiosity to the fact that we're not alone in this universe. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that, but I, I just want you to go find out for yourself. So let me get back on topic. Uh, the world is shocked today in the ufology community because of this photo uh, that I'm going to show you here uh, came out today. Uh, this particular photo that you see on the screen uh, dubbed as the uh, uh, Calvin Vine photo, which was taken in some early days. Okay. In the nineties, if I'm not mistaken. And, at the time it got covered up, you know, it came out, but then it got covered up and it was a few guys. They were just sitting out and, and to kind of give you a vision of today. This is today what it looks like of the space that this photo was taken. So beautiful place and make no mistake about it. Even almost a blind person can see something in that sky followed by a jet and know that it's a ufo okay and once again today they still uh not going down the world with this um so i think at the end of the day this is and, and just give you another angle there there's another angle. and we come back this photo is a little back a little back further but there you go so you have it um and then like i said to you earlier nick pope i'm sure he's getting his phone ring People are calling him all over the place. He had to come out with a tweet today, and he says the the Calvi UFO photo update. He's giving everybody an update right there. Read that. It's right there in my left corner. He says, further to my previous statement. So I didn't put up the previous statement because the previous statement, I'm telling you what he said, is that I ain't telling y'all nothing. I already I don't prove that point. And he says, neither is he confirming or nor deny. Do y'all know what that really means? That means you looking at the photo. It's real. <laughs> That's what he's saying. That's exactly what that means. Oh, okay. I know we can go to on the flip side. No, I'm not confirming. No, I'm denying. Is the, is That is only used to let you know what you see. Now, here is the deal. Pay close attention to this. Please, please, please do. What is my motto that I, for our whole community, our motto, I, I, I've been doing this from day one. I wrote this thing down. I meditated on it. I said, if there's one message that I want to give out to our community, if it's one message, if I, if all I had was 30 seconds to say anything every single day, and I will say this to you wholeheartedly. Okay. And it's the message. All right. That makes this, uh, the whole thing. And so I'm going to blow it up so you can see me here because I got a face with TV today. Okay. The message is simple as this. Your eyes are useless when your mind is blind. It's time to think why. 
if you can't look at that photo and you can't assume of the possibilities of what you're looking at because your mind won't allow you to think there's nothing else on this planet or nothing else in the galaxy, there's nothing else anywhere, then they're going to be useless to you. And they're going to be useless when photos like this pop up that from the past that we now, we is documentation because that beats conversation, documentation v conversation in the day of the week, that that UFO. And I'm only harping on this because I can go into all the detail. Man, look, I got 20 pages of content about this thing here. Y'all see that? I'm not going to bore y'all with all of this defense stuff. I'm just going to give you the talk of reality from why the big secret, because I go beyond the narratives and I don't need to go into all this nuts and bolts that the, the, you know, yeah. Okay. The plane we want to know, was that a significant plane behind it? Because that plane dictates the era when that plane was made. So that a lot of people was going out to trying to find out what kind of plane that was, which makes sense as an investigator, I would have done the same thing. Oh, okay. That looks like this, this, and this. And in fact, I wrote it down so you can know. Um, but again, that era of plane that's following it dictates the time frame. Um, and at that point. So I'm just here to tell you that as Rob said earlier, that you know, disclosures around the corner, like Rudolph the reindeer is coming. And uh, and him and I talk off the scenes and everything else. And so you know, the debate is real on that side. I mean, because he'll show me some stuff and I'll be like, dude, that's not, he'll be like, yeah, that's this. And and so that's our conversation. But I'm, I agree with him that we are on approach. The plane is, is landing at some point, but I don't think it's the same airport that he think that I think. So we, you know, so again, we're, we're, we're me and him going to explore that as our journey goes because i'm gonna be like rob five years from now but we still waiting on disclosure and he's gonna be like rod we got the d you're gonna say yeah but we missing the i the s the l the o so we'll we'll get rob a d we'll give him a d he got the d today okay he gets the d but i ain't saying nothing until we get the e that is ended i just made that up that was perfect right that was cool all right i'm funny and i'm clever okay i'm good so um what do y'all think? Uh, put in the comments a little bit, and uh, I'm going to bring my guys in because I got a question for them, and uh, we'll just kind of see what's going on in this case. Rob, for you and uh, for Mateo, Mark, Mark, I'm going to give a statement first, and then and you guys just kind of work with me here. In spite of everything that's been going on, okay, we 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 all pushing for disclosure, and this photo comes a blast from the past. So it was, but it had been talked about. So we can't say it, it hadn't existed. The storyline hadn't been there because th this has been part of history. It's been in books, stories. Nick Pope has been interviewed con con a gazillion times, but he's always stated that because people really didn't believe him. Because he was like, it, the photo got stolen off my wall, dude. You know, my boss took it. And, and and that stirred the whole community. And some people, I can't stand Nick for a Pope. He, he this, he this. Now what they would say. So it's like I told you so. So how, let's go back into, we can we can go with the word disclosure. But let's just, let's, let's all think about if you were Nick Pope. We'll start with you, Rob. You were Nick Pope. You was out here telling everybody this photo was out there. And Mateo, you're going to be Nick Pope next, just to let you know. So try to be a different Nick Pope or Rob. Let us see all the same person. That's fine. <laughs> okay. But the whole point I'm saying is you and Nick Pope, you've been out here. You've been ridiculed. You've been slapped around about this idea. But you, I mean, he's my buddy. So I'm protecting him. And in fact, this is why we're having this conversation. So now that this pops up, now he was also talking on Fade to Black about this a week or two ago. Or was it yeah. last week? And I don't think coincidences is, is 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 that word when it comes down to this stuff. Could it be playing? I would love to ask him, hey man, did you know this was gonna pop out? Because you you know, Jimmy is talking about it. if not, you should have called me. I'm your boy. In fact, <laughs> Let me put the pictures up. I don't have dinner with you, man. Look, come on, we cool. So we are cool though. So you, Nick Pope, this thing pops up today. What do you? 
how would you be feeling if you had an opportunity to just be in that moment? Well, uh, if I'm Nick Pope, I'm like, boom, told you. Yep. And the problem is, is that when you really look at it, Nick Pope is now vindicated. But there's a long history of a lot of people that should be vindicated and will be vindicated. Bibles are. Right, let's just go down the list. It's everyone. The big secret keepers are the masters of deception and ridicule and the big secret keepers, that's who walked in his office that day and took the picture off the wall. So they are they they continue to to uh, put to try to put us in a position where we won't where we we can't be believed if we don't have the proof. So they take the proof away and then it's just word of mouth and Xerox photocopied and recreation drawings and things like that. So just like I said before, it took someone, a civilian or someone who wants disclosure to say, no, the picture's right here. And a matter of fact, I'm going to grab it, bring it out. And then we need a lot more of that. Mm. But I think I think it's just really the stigma, not just in Nick Pope's case, but in in hopefully Bob Lazar is vindicated. I think he almost is. But uh, once he's vindicated and there's a few other people that I want to see want to see be able to say boom as well all right all right so we got you we hear you mateo you nick pope if you want to be i mean you you, <laughs> you know um you nick pope today you, i don't you feel know like my english accent's on today robert so i'm not sure i'm gonna go for it yes he I does a lot of monty python movies but i'm not sure if i want to he, go there. he does he does have that uh <laughs> Uh, that thing and also uh, testing testing to all of the truth seeker testing 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 I'm not doing an audio test and I'm not doing a video test I'm doing a cash out test I just want to know if my cash out was working today <laughs> it, 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 it's, over. it's just see if it's working today uh, just I, I, I just don't know I'm sitting here messing with it but <laughs> maybe y'all will know somebody I'll buy another ticket later <laughs> let me know. let me no let me get into it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Rob spot on, and he Nick Pope. It's like I said earlier, he need not say anything. The mm -hmm. pictures speak for themselves. He his vindication is is that he wasn't trying to tell people this was a UFO or these were aliens from Zeta Reticuli. He was just saying there was a picture. It was. And here's the thing, and it was taken down. Why would you take it down? You would mm. only take it down if there was some potential security issue with it, right? If it was okay. some fake photo, why would his boss have taken it down? That's one thing that tells me he didn't set this up like you uh, mentioned earlier. I think, and I put the link of that Sun newspaper article in the chat, look at Craig Lindsay the RAF press officer who gave the photo to this, that, uh, uh, that other guy, Clark, whatever his name was, who ultimately did the release. He's old. He's not mm -hmm. probably going to be around a lot longer. Maybe Craig Lindsay heard some of Nick Pope's recent interviews, like on Fade to Black, and thought to himself, you know what? I ain't going to be here in 2076. So... <sighs> It's time. And he. And how did he do you think? I don't know. He, you can look at his picture. I'm a terrible judge, but I mean, maybe the guy looks like he's probably in his 80s. I yeah. mean, Craig Lindsay. So well, we, we tend to. He, he could put it out there. That's my thinking. It's I think it's re it's definitely real. Now, what's in it? That's a different question, but it's real. I and think it vindicates he, Nick. I think when it comes down to what you just said with this guy, it's not uncommon. And we we've heard this, the Israeli guy, prime minister guy, that's his UFO program. And he was in his eighties. One of, was it one of our burn? Uh, who else is on a deathbed? A lot of them began to spill the beans on the big oh, yeah. city. Not oh, too many people want to do not want to carry for some reason, although we are just talking about a photo. Most of these people know more about what's happening, the real secret, and they don't want to carry that to them graves. Most of them do no. not want to carry it to the grave. We saw what the do movie. They have to lose. 
now. Well, th- maybe they know throw them in jail. I mean, yeah. and well, there you go. Just, yeah. yeah. And, in the movie Moonfall, you know, we saw it. The guy told Halle Berry, she came to the basement. He spilled the beans. It's the most biggest cover up. And then he shot himself. He didn't want to die. You know, like, look, I, I don't deceive the world. So while we think we tell a lie to a couple of individuals, they know they don't lie to millions. People lost their lives. People lost their livelihood. It's just so much collateral damage with the big lie from the big secret keepers. Oh, we got a new term now. The big lie. Let me write that down. We're going to coin that phrase, Mm y'all. The big lie. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Y'all hang around a little bit. Yeah. Just get y'all thoughts on that. Okay. So, um, all right. So what I'm saying is this, y'all heard it from, from the guys. And if you some gals out there, y'all, you know, where you get, where where the ladies at? Okay. This is a community of male, female, and all other pronouns, all included. Okay, where y'all at? Don't let it. I want to hear some of the female perspectives, and and see what y'all think about this. Because, you know, where y'all at? I send you a link right now. You can come up into the show. Some of y'all can do it. Y'all got enough situation to do it. And uh, yeah, but anyway, so. We just played the Nick Pope thing, and that's something. And so Alpha Alpha Zero, Alpha Zero said it's not a lie. There are more planets than grains of sand, and we literally don't even know where the space ends. I totally agree with you. All right. Uh, Deborah says, I think there are groups who actively cast doubts on anyone who discloses. And Aisha says, hello, peoples. That's the Aisha who's going to be on our show, right? Same one. You're back. Diana said, what's going on? How are you doing, everyone? Margaret said, at Roderick, not sure if you uh, seen, but from a woman's perspective, I think JJ has made me. <laughs> okay, let me read that again. Make sure I read what you just said. At Roderick, not sure if you see, but from a woman's perspective, I think JJ has made many valid points. So JJ, you got women saying we're all connected. They're connected to your statements. JJ, all right now. Okay. So uh, Mike said, I tried to show my brothers. It's too deep for them. I had to continue investigating for all this. Mike, that. I don't know what community you're in. Let me know what community put down. If you're an African-American community, whatever community, because uh, you may be faced with a bigger deficit than, you know, when it comes down to this, believe that. Um, And I wish we can say we can help you, but in my community, if you're into my community, then I'm with you. We Houston, we got a problem because that cultural lens is really, uh, closed off when it comes down to this phenomenal but i'm gonna take it to the streets this weekend we're gonna talk to any and all people though and we're gonna see if we can get some thoughts out there uh <laughs> aisha said hello c tech oh, laugh out loud so looks like y'all got a special connection that'll work we as a community connection all right so um JJ says at CTEC, I'm not sure about that. I try to speak on that, which I have knowledge about. It's all good though. So anyway, so as we're talking, this is Friday night. So I want to thank each and every one of you being here tonight. I'm just blabbing off tonight, uh, doing, and I'm not, we're talking about something serious and, and everything else. Uh, you know, and I think it's one of those things to, uh, really look at, um, you know, from this perspective. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna get your mind to see this in another way. So welcome if you just chiming in with us on Why the Big Secret tonight. Please smash the like button if it's all possible. If you find in value from the show, definitely share this as well. We're here Monday through Friday. Uh, of course, you know Tuesday night we're streamed from the Forbidden Knowledge TV. Also coming up next week, I'll be on UMA TV doing a, a movie review and that's just not streamed that's just a video but you definitely want to check that out um and and so we're we're talking about the bombshell that came out today 
in, the, in everybody's talking about it. And when I'm telling you, everybody is talking about it. And, and sometimes I still go, why? Because it's not something we didn't know, but it's all about just to bring it in that this photo that came out right here, that originally was like the one that's recreated on the left for years has been the photo that's saying there was a UFO sighting. Now, I want y'all to take a look at the photos and I want to point out the obvious. Yes, the Calvin photos. I want on the Calvin photos. I want to point out the obvious. These photos ain't grainy, guys. That one on the left is a recreation, but the actual photo, this is not a grainy photo. See, this is the problem. This is the problem that I think that shaded all of this deal because the photo clearly sees a UFO. You, it's a UFO. And they can't try to say we don't know what it is. And even in congressional hearings that we had back months ago, they put some stuff that you just zipped across the screen, played us like dummies. Okay. So what I'm saying to you that this photo, which was probably why I think that's the reason, one of the reasons why it, they made it disappear because it was too unlike everything else out there that could be debunked. You're not debunking it. Look at it. They had negatives. It's the real deal. So the big secret keeper said, no, no, we, now we have a real photo. You know, they, they, they put that out there and now it's like, no, well, no, we, we got to shut this thing down. Yeah. So alpha zero said, what the, why the big secret is what he said. <laughs> I wanted to see these photos. Uh, and if you're going to use that other word you just use, it's called holy sugar honey iced tea. Okay, so adapt that word and it probably will show up. So say holy sugar honey iced tea. That'll be the word that I will tell you to use, uh, alpha zero. So, but the whole point I'm saying is, yeah, holy sugar honey iced tea. There was a really good photo that now we know that there's no doubt that there's something flying around that we don't know what it is. And it's a UFO. Okay. I need to catch up with times UAP Roderick. Did they release this? Yes. It, well, they didn't do it on purpose. Somebody leaked it out today. Uh, so that's what happened. Alpha zero came out today. It's all over the news everywhere. Uh, and, and Nick Pope, uh, of course, you know, he was part of the original and this is his statement today. Um, we'll put it back on screen. And, and Nick Pope says, you know, Hey, uh, further to my previous statement, I can now say now he said, I can now say, so I'm not going to dictate what this man is trying to write and send. Cause I'm going to call him cause we buddies. I'm going to call him up. Not now. I'm going to wait till the smoke clear, but I'm going to say, he says, I can now say that I won't be able to go beyond my original. And what he's saying is this is what he said years back anyway. Right. Neither confirm nor I deny in relations to the province of the photo released today. My position on the incident is as stated. Now, Magneticus says what res, or if he's talking about resolution, Magneticus, I'm saying compared to all the stuff that we get and see, this is a better description of, of the photo, plain and simple. I can see that I'm almost, almost. See the guy waving. That's how good this photo is. <laughs> okay, I'm making it up. Y'all can say Roderick said it. Nick Pope did not say it. But I can almost see the the ET saying, hey, what's up? You can't keep up with this. You can't catch this like old MC Hammer. Because we can't keep up with them. The technology is not there. But what it does say is back in the 90s, I think this was taken in 1990s. Am I correct? No, yeah, right? In 1990. So where he, what we're saying is that 30, this would be 30 years ago. Okay. So there, this is, this is what we're talking about. This thing was real back then. That was one of the, one of the true evidences or evidence that there was something that existed and flying around. And so this is why it's making headway today. It's not because of what, you know, it's because it's confirmation and it also catch him in a big lie. 
the big secret keepers because the, again they said it right here in 1996 the ministry of defense over there a number of the negatives he's talking about the negatives to this photo which the sighting was examined by the response he looked at the responsible for air defense so meaning some some tricky people looking at this thing and and he says uh since it was judged that they contained nothing defense significance, the negatives were not retained. This dude, need, he, I mean, I don't know what he's doing today. This is back in 1996. But this guy who wrote this is part of the Big Secret Keepers crew without a shadow of a doubt. And, he, and, and, and so if you read the statement, he ain't saying that it wasn't no UFO. He didn't say that. He, he didn't want to say that because you can't get away from that. But what he is saying is, oh, it just wasn't significant enough. Well, we don't know. Appreciate it, Larry. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, we got two of those today. And it's Friday. And like I said, if you were going to go out to the movies tonight, or you, you still can go. Or you, if you find, or you're just going to rent something, we don't do that no more. We live stream uh, through Netflix and all that. But whatever you was going to do, if you were going to and you sit in here instead and you are getting this infotainment, then uh, there's a cash out there or a PayPal or super chat. Just let me know if you find any value. And, and I'm just saying it because it's, it's all helpful and it is Friday night and uh, we would do that. All right. So now that I, I, I think I, I pointed out to you, and answer part of the why the big secret because Roderick, why would this be a big secret? Why are they hiding it? Well, the obvious there's technology sitting there in front of us. That thing is bigger than our, our, their military aircraft, way bigger, which mean two things. And I'm now really speculating. Either there were some giants in there or a bunch of them, a bunch of little guys. Because that was a big old cruiser. Diana said, make the bowl scene. Okay, how do we make the bowl scene? Does we need to make it scene here the bowl? And we're gonna talk about that book too. But there's the bowl. Y'all hear that? Y'all get it? All right, there's the bowl. All right, so um thank you, Diana. And uh, so the whole point is Black Dragon said control the narratives and you control the mass. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why if you see my video opening uh, and you watch it, it'll say uh, Roderick Martin going beyond the narrative because that you have to. And a lot of people don't do that. A lot of shows, although there's some great ones out there, there's a lot of good shows. Go over to Dave Space Out Radio. Uh, Christina Gomez, you got, uh, there's bunches of them. Okay. Uh, and there's some great shows, but there are some other ones out there that will not go beyond the narrative because they don't want to, they want to, you know, whatever. I don't know. I ain't in for that. And I'm concerned with it because all this tells me is that Houston, we got a problem. There's something else flying around. We don't know what it is. All right. Freya says, here we go. Super chat. Appreciate it. There we go. Freya, thank you. Thank you. Let's get another bowl. Hear that? For Freya. No, she need a, she need a, there you go. There you go. All right. I got the singing bowl for any of you. If you hear this for you, then let it ring. Let it turn into something there for you. Okay, so all right, we we we're touching on this today. And uh if you're in the audience right now, you know, and if you've heard about this particular photo in the past, that's fine. But what do you think today? Now that you see, and 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 again, I'm gonna point out to you something you want to look at. This photo right here is a recreation. So this has been around quite some time, and people debunked it. They try to say, oh, no, Nick Pope this, and oh, no, what kind of airplane is that? Oh, whatever. Now, I am concerned when you look at the photo and you see the little wingtip 
on the side of that aircraft up there. You know, the the left side of that, you know, that always let me know that, that that's that part of could be a man-made object, right? Because, you know, back then we didn't have those things. Okay, so Magnetic has said it's not a kite. Ding the bowl on every dollar. Okay, all right, we could do that. So, all right, so I'm going to take us to another part of this. And just to get you guys thinking uh, when it comes down to this, like I said before, that's not your typical UFO. Uh, and what a typical UFO is, I'm not claiming to be. But what I'm saying is that is not the typical flying saucers. That's not our orbs. And that's not our uh, all these the triangles. And That's a different UFO. And all that tells me is that's a different technology from a different place. And when it gets down to that, that lets you understand uh, what is going on there. Uh, uh, all right. So, are you? I don't know what the question is. Uh, all right. So, all right. So, let's do this here. Hang on. I'm just reading some stuff here. Let me know if if if, if the comment is for me. Okay, let me know. All right, so I'm looking back at the chats. Nicole says maybe that's what the reptilians fly. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Maybe it is. Maybe it's the 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 Palladians. Maybe it is. Maybe it's the mantis beings. Maybe it is. Maybe and, and again, I'm gonna let me bring this thing up again. Hold on a minute here. Uh and then we're going to get into another part of the conversation. So there's your two comparisons. Check that out for a second. All right. So I was, man, I was going to bring out this book I got that has 80 extraterrestrials in it. <laughs> 80. And then, yeah, we can get that. Uh, all right, so let's do that. Okay, so we have Aisha is, uh, okay, may, hold on. Let me take the pictures off here. There you go, Aisha. Boom. Aisha says uh, $10. Great show. Um, now, Aisha, maybe she's making up for not being on here with us today. But that's a good makeup, and you're going to get a singing bow for that. So, here you go. There you go. Oh, y'all hear that? All right. That's that. I used to appreciate it. That's the singing bow. And if the bow and the tone hit you, then you hit it as well. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we appreciate you, Aisha. I really do. Um, so now let me kind of, uh, also, we're going to take a, a moment to, uh, put a little bit of who our true seekers are. Uh, Larry said, the problem I have with the so-called disclosure people like put off a Nick and a Lou, they are all talk transparency and disclosure, but they are secret keepers. Nick has been talking about these things in pictures. Okay. Larry, um, Here's what we're going to do. And uh, this is happens in life. And so let me first do that. So, Larry, you there? You there? You with me? All right. So your friend is my friend. So we're going to give this guy. Let me let me bring it up here a little bit. Let's give this guy. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's my friend, too. <laughs> so there you go. Nick Pope is a friend of Why the Big Secret. He's an ally of Why the Big Secret. He is a true ally of uh, ally of Why the Big Secret. We have eaten. He have helped me keep my weight up many occasions. And, uh, and so he's an ally. So and I will tell you, knowing him personally, there is some restrictions on things he can and cannot say. Same thing for Lou, too. These people are, they just cannot. And you got to remember 
that uh, it's bigger for them than us because they got disclosures where they can take their house, their property, put them in jail, all of this stuff. So they, they got to ride a slow, slippery slope uh, and they just can't. And the military don't play when it comes down to finding reasons uh, that they'll go after these guys. So we give them that much, you know, on that particular point. So, uh, but anyway, so what I'm going to do, let me uh, thank our two seekers. So let me find the, uh, our anthem here for you so we can kind of go from there. So we're going to take about 30 seconds right here and uh, thank our true seekers. So I want to thank everybody who support the show right here. Let me ask you a question. Why the big secret? True seekers, but really the true leaders. It's time to get the facts from the big secret keepers. Yes. UFOs yep. when I look up in the sky. We're out here asking why, but we don't get no reply. We want disclosure. We need the actual facts. They're covering all the tracks. But we're not backing down. It's our time. Stay on the grind. Why the big secrets about to blow your mind? All right, that was just special thanks to the troop seekers who are on our monthly membership there and the ones who uh, are part of our executive show team, Surge and uh, Steph, and then we have Dr. Karras and everyone else. And so they support us on the producer level as well. So just giving a shout out to them and, and everything else. And so if you, again, if you're finding this conversation tonight and we're talking, we can do, yeah, we've done a whole show of a photo. OK, but the photo speaks a thousand words. The photo tells the history in the, in the future and also the presence. The history of the photo is that it was denied, 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 but it was so real that it, 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 it could have back then blew up the whole thing. OK, in the presence today that it is out. OK, it now knows the past that it was maybe possibly fake. Now, how does that change the future? Well, let's bring Rob G back up because he says disclosure is coming. So I need a little more information about that. Rob G, the future, once again, how significant is this for the future? I think uh, it's actually very significant uh, because if, if we really want to put this into perspective, this is probably the best case of a photo that we have determined to be a real ufo so we may have others out there but this has come you know through the government through the hands of a civilian though um as confirmation the most clear photo that i've seen to date of a ufo so i i'm on i'm on the path of disclosure is still imminent there's just this year alone, if we were to write down and put down a list of everything that's happened or been said or been referred to or been brought out that wasn't supposed to come out this year alone, it probably would be pretty shocked at, at how long that list is. And it's really, I, I'm feeling like we're getting to a climactic point here. Um, and, and I see, uh, I really feel like it could be any day. It could be one more release. Uh, you know, aside from this, what do you get next? You have a clear down. We need an HD photo and HD photo may be next. Okay. So sound like you're saying that for you, a photo, a new photo that's just showing, okay, we got a picture of a photo with an alien in it. In fact, let me stop. I'm not going to put words in your mouth. What would be a disclosure done deal for you? Ah, uh, done deal. Done deal would be a done deal would be obviously an alien stepping out of a UFO. That'd be a done deal for me. But I'm satisfied with. You're not gonna get that one. Man. I'm satisfied with <laughs> with credible. With, with evidence coming through a credible source, put it okay. like that. So as long as the evidence comes through a credible channel, that's enough for me. And, and as we've seen, we're getting more and more evidence coming from through these credible channels. So mm -hmm. if you take away even all the 
firsthand accounts from just citizens. Put those aside. Forget about those. Just the ones that have come this year through credible sources, through military and other channels. I think that would be enough for me. Give me something else, just a little more clear, maybe with some motion to it. And, and I'm there. I'm there. All right. I mean, I'm with you on that. I, I think that I get what you're saying. And that is something I think that uh, will be a question to pose on the streets when I get out there for people who know about UFOs. What would be the threshold? What is the threshold for disclosure? Yep. And since there's so many vital points to this, um, are we or you or are we all just wanted to know? who the alien is and what's their name what's the address or do you, you get what i'm saying do we want to know is alien stand down the street and what's the address or where he's from like Gary, like nolan said most people in the religious world is going to say who is your god everybody got their own thing that they're looking for you know um mm -hmm. and so i think at that point so i get what you're saying i get what you're saying as far as disclosure all right so we're going to roll the dice give me a deadline what day, how long do you think? So we're going to put this in the archives of Why the Big Secret. You predict your prediction. Mm, you're going you're gonna to try to prove me wrong. You can try to. So the day after no, the date that I choose, you're going to rewind that video. Okay. We're going to put I it think yeah. just based off of. I'll just use Randall Nickerson, who's the director from the area school, aerial school phenomena. I'm writing it down. I'm gonna put it in the archives now or time capsule. Go ahead. Based off of his what he his own statement of he said he saw clear smoking gun video evidence that is set to be released before the end of this year. And that smoking gun evidence, that video for me would be the thing that I'm waiting for to say is here. He says it's here before the end of the year, so I'm going to say December 31st this year. I don't. Yeah, I feel like disclosure is here, or at least we have enough to say, yeah, this is real. This is what it is by December 31st. Whatever you may think of or define disclosure as, I think we'll know for sure we're being visited. This is the ship or one of the ships that they come okay. in. And that's we'll have all that on the table, I think, by December 31st. All right. Y'all heard it. December 31st, Rob G says you guys are going to be able to get on top of the building like the movie Independence Day. They're opening up. <laughs> and yeah, you're going to get up there with the sign New Year's Eve, by the fact, or you're going to party uh, off of that as well. OK, Rob, we'll, we'll just hang around a bit. We'll, we'll come back to that. We're going to close out in a little bit, bring you and Mateo with some final words. So, all right, you heard it. Rob says he he says December 31st. Anybody in here with him? Let's see. Put it in a chat because I want some more. He don't need to stand by himself because he is right now. <laughs> so December 31st, he's saying you're going to know. Same as you get your Kraft and Crunch cereal and you pour it in a bowl with the milk and it crunches that we're not alone and we're going to have definitive proof. Anyone else, December 31st, he gave you the reasons why you was listening. Anybody want to second that emotion? I, I'm, any, any takers? I'm pausing because there may be a slight delay. Uh, all right. So C-Tech says, Mr. Rob G, Rob, you got it. Roderick drives a hard bargain. I agree that there would be. Okay, so here's the deal. C-Tech is writing in here. Y'all see the chat? Look at that. He says, Mr. Rob G is, you go Rob. Roderick drives a hard bargain. And uh, there's tremendous evidence. Tell us all your own, though. <laughs> Why not? No, no, yeah. no. I was just yeah. busting Rob, and and you, you, you know, uh, you asked a tough question, and I had okay. a, I have the unfair advantage of having a couple more minutes to think about it before Rob okay. was on the spot. But I've got something to add to what Rob said. No, okay. there will be, there is already irrefutable evidence that there is a phenomenon out there. Okay. Now that phenomenon, nobody knows whether that's extraterrestrial 
or some sort of advanced tech from you know the military industrial complex that's the big that's the really the big question okay all right so for me disclosure because you i had a chance to think about it would be and, and this will be simple terms so don't laugh it would be a video of an alien body live or dead and or or, or video of an alien ship that is exhibiting anti-gravity capability it's a foregone conclusion none of these people have ever seen an extraterrestrial before <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyhow, I'm out there now. Everybody can start uh, firing at, back at me. But those would, that would be it. I mean, that would tell me that the phenomenon that we know exists is extraterrestrial. Right now, we don't know what it is. So to me, that would be convincing. Either I see an alien in a video that's uh, corroborated or I see a ship that's exhibiting anti-gravity performance. That's. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> now, so, I don't think that's going to happen by December 31st. But by December 31st, some of those videos that uh, Rob was talking about, I wouldn't be surprised if they come out. And there'll be a lot of debate. But those will be huge. It'll add to maybe the infamous 23-minute video that Lou keeps talking about will right, actually right. come out. I'm with you on that. Okay, um, Kirk says Rob G is right. December the 31st is the day, and it was also the day Bill Nice will lose his mind. Okay, so Rob, you 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 have another person uh that's with you. So it sounds like you agreeing on a date, Mateo. Not for the part B that I just divulged. Oh, okay. Okay. But for part one, as far as verifying that they are having the irrefutable evidence of the phenomenon, yes, I, I think it'll be out. There'll be something out that's quite significant beyond what we've seen. Now, what it'll do is it'll put everybody in a tizzy, right? And the government will be running around, not sure where to go, what to do that's as far it. as covering it up or substantiating it. And they'll just run off and hide. JJ's been saying it all night. And I, I got to agree with him there. The government will never admit to what's really going on. It's going to be someone else who releases the information, and that's really going to be all we're going to ever get. Now, can that information be significant enough to right. trump the government, to overrule them? Yes. Somebody's got to, maybe Avi Loeb will get some pictures in his Galileo project thing that he's doing. Who knows? So, yeah, you, you might be able to get, that's, that's what I like about what's going on right well, now. You got, you got a message for you, though. It's on the screen. What's that? Oh, Aisha said hi. Yep, she's my fellow lioness. That's what we were talking about earlier. She had a really nice message for you earlier, Roderick. You got to go see oh, it. <laughs> it was $10, wasn't it? No, that was right after the $10. She said something in response to your thanking her, and uh, it was a good one. Well, like I'm that one. back. I'm looking <laughs> for it. I'm scrolling. Yeah, but anyhow, so... Well, okay, well, we're going to be ending Enough soon. Said. Let's get everybody in here, get y'all final words, and then I'll close this out in a little bit with some more words. So as it stands, Rob G., you're not by yourself. Someone else said that December 31st was two people. Uh, and when there's two people, that's enough to be a conspiracy thought. Okay. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you. December the 31st, we're going to go down that route. No one else went out there. Uh, KG said, let's run up the likes. Yes. Uh, if y'all have not had an opportunity to like the video, go ahead and like that video. Uh, this particular video, I'm sorry, go ahead and do that. I'm going back. Okay, I should 10 bucks there. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, boom. Pisces and Leos are like warm bubble bath together. <laughs> ah. <There you> go. <laughs> Look, this is what I get you, my Scooby Doo, like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Funny. All right. So we're going to do that. In, uh now, I would have played this tone reading this. Ice. <laughs> However, since you eloquently said that, then you get. There it is. There you go. So you get the heart for tonight and, uh, and everything else. So, um, 
There is a such name. <laughs> Email contact at widerbigsecret.com. All right. So, guys, what, what I'm saying is, is final thoughts from you all is we all can agree that this was a significant drop today. Is that yeah. yes. right? for sure? We yes. we we all I think can agree, and if you disagree, let me know that Nick Pope is probably King Kongin right now. You know what I'm saying? Nick, Nick Pope is the truth. Okay, I don't know nobody to Nick Pope is the truth. The evidence came out today. Give the man his respect and and vindicate this man the, the gotcha. big pope told you it was there and we see it today we got it today okay and it's safe to say that there are some other people out there turning over you know especially in his area you know how did this get out right so do you think there will be any repercussions though that's going to surface from this photo. It's not, tough to I say. don't think for Nick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably not. Probably he's in the United States here, so he's he's safe. He's he's safe for prosecution if if that even was the case, right? He lives here, right? Gotcha. Doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the guy he's, who he's gave the photo, the RAF press uh, officer, he's he he's he'd be like, "Hey, come get me. What do you want? What are you going to do? You know." Throw okay. Me in jail, he's he doesn't care anymore. So no, I don't think the repercussions are real. All right, guys, you guys take it like we're gonna do the final. We're gonna do some other stuff here on the auction. I appreciate y'all coming up tonight, and uh, yes, sir, the You're next welcome. time uh, we'll talk. But y'all do hang around backstage. But we'll, well, yeah, we'll uh, talk. I'll give you guys a call on the phone tonight. All right, everybody, enjoy your weekend. Thanks for yes. supporting. Thanks for coming to see us today. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're going to still continue to show a little bit. That was just the light. They're, they're are leaving. So this book right here is the Betty and Barney Hill story, the uh, 60th anniversary. Okay. You can buy this book I and mean, you can go and order for 20 something bucks or whatever, or you can get into the raffle for $5 and that does support the show. However, the special part of this is that this book is written by Kathleen Martin and Stanton Freeman. As y'all know, Stanton Freeman has passed on, but he is the grandfather of ufology. Here's the deal. His autograph. Okay, he's in it. And when we had our group Extraterrestrial Evidence, they signed it to the, to the organization. Uh, and so I had about eight of these or seven left. And... Uh, and I bought them and then paid a donation, even that at the time, because I wanted to, you know, give them out into our team. So at this point, if you want to get a copy, this is five dollars cash out five dollars with your name, um, of course. And let me know it's for the books. Don't super chat it because we, that super chat for this book, we won't even see the money until September something. OK, so that's a long time now, actually October. But if you super chat it and then we're going to draw, we probably we need about 10, 12, 11 more five dollars. And then we'll pull the names and then we'll get this out to you. It's just five bucks. Get you into the drawing. You can cash app it up below. Uh, it does support the channel. So you do get some in return if you are the winner. Um, it is. I do have a couple of copies of these. If you just want to out buy you one for 50 bucks in that club is the shipping. You get the autograph the plate and everything's in here. Uh, I got four of those and uh, we'll do that. So uh, if you're interested in that, definitely let me know to add you into the pot there and we'll definitely do that. Okay. So yeah, you guys are here. It looks like a good book. Yes, it is. Aisha is, a, is really a good book. Um, Pisces know how to pick books for Leo's. That's back at you, babe. Okay. So the whole point I'm saying is, um, is that we're, we're at a point to where it's about to get real. This is what Rob G is saying. Okay. Rob G is saying it's about to get real. Okay. And in order to say that though, we're, we're looking at a point to say, okay, if that's the case, where do we go from here? Because if they do come out 
and the jig is up, where do we go from here? But let me make mention, though, just because they come out and say there's a possibility of extraterrestrials, now we got to go down the route that Nick Post talks about, technology, alien tech, all of these other things. And so that changes the ball game royally when it comes down to now what country is going to say we got this or let's come together. Because believe me, the race is on for technology. Every military out there want the technologies. Daryl says one of the people that helped get the photo today was yesterday, said something that would be coming and said that in the next two weeks, there will be something new released. Okay, Daryl, we with you. So you might be playing in with what Rob is saying, that something big is coming. And so um, Good for y'all. Okay, Daryl, you in the boat with uh, Rob. So Rob is saying that there are some things that's coming down the pipeline with this deal, okay, which is fine. Um, and I'm not denying that. Roderick, you're so right about the race for tech. Yes, the world is still at war with each other. Absolutely. This is why I tell each and every one of you, and I'm going to show you a picture again here so that you know and don't start this one, you know, um, that is not China. That is not Russia. That is not uh, some other country. Because make no mistake about it, any country that has something that can do instantaneous acceleration, anti-gravity, speeds of, of five times the speed of sound, uh, transmedium from air, water, space, will rule this planet uh, in a military world. Okay, so moderators, we have a hack. If y'all can get that out of there tonight. Uh, thank y'all. Okay. So, um, yeah, and so at this point, it's it's one of those deals that, uh, you know, we, we have to kind of look at and say, okay, we got technology. We got all of these things. And so the, 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 the thing is real. This validates that we're going to move on with some stuff from there. Okay. So once again, I'm going to check and see if anyone uh, cash out for the book. No names are going into the pot. Okay. That's fine. Not everybody want a autographed copy for history from the greatness of Stanton Freeman to keep, to have in their library, to have, as one of the great books of all time, written Betty and Bunny Hill, the 60th anniversary edition, Kathleen Martin, uh, Betty, the niece of Betty and Bunny Hill's signature autograph with the greatness of Stan Freeman for five bucks if you win. Okay. That's a shot at the title. You, you guys can do that. Um, uh, Bot did the same thing with Christina. Yeah, it's it's around. So it's obviously it's somebody who who frequents both shows because they set this thing loose. C Tech said I would buy some more twenty tickets next week to round out the bowl. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna give you early. That's like championship bowl there. Shoot, you know what I'm saying? That was for C Tex uh, saying what he's gonna do. Yes, yeah, Stanton Freeman was a legend. Is the legend. Uh, all right. So at this point, if anyone else got anything that you want to particularly share, we're we're going to get down with this right now and uh, just kind of put some stuff together. But I appreciate y'all coming out tonight. It's Friday. So just know that there's a possibility I might not stream on Monday. I'm, I'm trying to uh, put a new schedule together. So if, if you don't be surprised, but make sure all of you come over to Forbid Knowledge TV uh, when we get there on Tuesday night, okay? Um, and we're here. For those of you who are here, uh, we got about 12 minutes because uh, we are live on a radio station, so you guys hang around for that. But, um, again, Magneticus says, stop clanging the boat. You're right. You're right, Magneticus. This should be a uh, more delicate approach because this is a special. Yeah, not a bank. So we take that back. Uh, you are 100% correct. So um, let's see what we have to do. Uh, yeah, see, Tech, we got to take that back because uh, he is true. The bowl is supposed to be hit with a more delicate approach. 
from there. So if you get any value from the show, uh, you don't have to show up with the cash app or anything. Just put it in a, in a chat. Let me know. Uh, so I know that uh, stroke my ego a little bit today. Uh, so let me know if I'm doing okay uh, for you. And, uh, and, and just like um, the uh, phone thing says, you know, would you tell a friend, would you share this show with anybody? Let me know that you will share our channel or if you have shared our channel uh, and also uh, let's hit the, the like button as well. If it's all possible, if we can get 60 likes tonight, that'll be cool. If you have not had an opportunity to like the show, go ahead and do that. And, and then, so let you know, keep track of everything because the weekend is going to get really wild uh, as this, particular and, and and it's always fridays when these things drop because they know that it'll kill the press over the weekend okay uh and so that is strategically uh, done lo uh, lo uh, is it low and behold all right low and behold you are so says i love the show thank you c tech says great show kurt says great show took my mind off a lot of stuff going on in my life well kirk you're welcome. Appreciate it. And I'm glad to have be of service to you uh, to be able to, to do that. I mean, you know, that means a lot to, uh, to do that. Um, I I'm still waiting on Aisha and Diana and all of them to say, we, this is a great show. Cause you know, I, I expect to hear from Diana cause she's been with me since day one. So she is the one of the original, yeah, we're going to call her OG. She's one of the original truth seekers. All right. With a couple other ones here, too, uh, as well. Um, so we got about nine minutes. Y'all hang on. You know, we got about nine minutes. And so I'm, we, we're not done. Aisha said I did say it. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Okay. All right. So, uh, so we got another person in for the book. Let's see. That would be. Freya, I'm going to give you a cash. Uh, so that is for the book, right, Freya? I'm making sure. So if you can just confirm, I'm going to put your name in the bowl. Um, Freya is going into the bowl for the book and the singing bowl. There we go. That is the greatness. Nicole said, me too. I sent one. Let me double check that and uh, see if I missed it. Yeah. Okay. Nicole was before Freya. Okay. I didn't see the note. All right. So Nicole is in for the book. All right. So C-Tech, you're down to 18 now. You're down to 18. You don't have to do 20. All right. That's for Nicole. All right. Diana says she's in a book. Diana, uh, did you text me on the thing? Uh, I'll call you. You got my number. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll text you the cell phone. And you just give me a call, Diana, after the show. Um, let me check first and uh, see if you went to the other app that we communicate with. So, um, yeah, so there's two people. Oh, yeah. So she said, okay, here we go. Um, I am, well, yeah, you put the number. Okay, I'll call you after the show, Diana. And, you know, when we get done, probably about, well, give me about 15 minutes. So it'll probably be about 9 15 Central Time. But I got your number and I'll call from my cell phone and it'll be a 972 number. So just look for that. Uh, thank you. Definitely. Um, at Roderick, there should already be about five tickets in the bowl from the last thing. Yep. That's why we want a total of 20 tickets. So we got two in here, and then there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. So we have seven. We got seven in the bowl. Seven, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So we have seven in the bowl or yeah, seven. Yeah. So we have a few tickets and stuff already in the bowl. So we're good. So uh, meaning 13. 
So we don't need 20. So we need 13. Yeah. All right. So um, sorry, I forgot today. So Aisha said, y'all have a great night. She is going, what time zone? Are you in a different time zone, Aisha? All right. So we got about a few minutes. And anyway, so we're just talking about the book. But today, again, we had the bombshell. Uh, thank you for those who said it was a great show. The ones who actually said it. And uh, thank you. And the ones who was thinking it, I heard you. All right, Freya. Okay, great. Got you in for the book. Aisha said Pacific. So that would be California time. That's early. She's going to go out then. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I've shared your channel. Thank you. Nicole said amazing show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, you two fell online, Kim Mufasa. I hope that's what you were saying. Yeah. Um, I used to always think I was Mufasa. Um, all right. So we're just talking now, just doing some small talk. And uh, if you're listening to us on the Unex radio station, this is Why the Big Secret, Roderick Martin. You got a couple other shows coming up next at the top of the hour. So definitely hang around for the next show in about four or five minutes. Uh, but in the meantime, if you want to, um, you know, um, you know, come follow Why the Big Secret, you're welcome to come to YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel. Uh, our subscribers have increased. And so we've been doing a good job this week. Thank you for all of y'all that has been participating uh, and sharing that as well. And then we hope to, uh, Magnetica said, let's get to 31. Uh, how many subs? He said. 3,100 subs so I can buy Shoo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How many subs we need to eat? Uh, we got to eat. I got to eat. Y'all hear him. He said, let's get to how many subs we got. Let me double check this for you. Shoo. Saying nothing but a number. Um, all right. So we are at. It's loading up right now. We are at uh, 3,248. Okay, so we need 51 subs. We need 51 subs so I can get some lunch. And I I, I am losing weight, but I don't want to lose weight through starvation. So I'm not going to eat until Magneticus buy my lunch. So that means I need, okay, Rob G says, okay, we're going to watch the movie Dark Sky. So let's do that and put it on next Friday's list of conversation. Cause I think that's something we're going to start doing. We're going to collectively start watching a few shows together, movies, and then we'll all do uh, something with that as well. Uh, Nicole said you will be by next week, 3000. Okay. So um, that means I'm going to have to get some biscuits and everything and stuff too. Um, yeah. So we're going to watch dark skies. So I want y'all to definitely watch that. And we're going to check it out. Nicole says she saw dark skies. Rob has been talking about this thing as it's the second coming of the UFO ship like today. And then December the 31st. So what do you think about dark skies? Don't give us no spoiler alert, but just let me know if Rob is leading us down the dark path. What do you think, Nicole? Since you've seen it already, just give us a quick couple of words. Is it worth it? Bruh. That movie is crazy. Oh, shoot. Mike is stamping it, Rob. Freya said it was a great show. Am I the only one that hasn't seen this damn thing? c Tech said he saw it, too. Okay, wait a minute. Is this some conspiracy? Okay. Nicole said it's good, but it's creepy. She said it's creepy. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, yeah, I, I was going to watch it anyway, but we're going to do it. I watched the Duction scene 100 times. Oh, okay. All right. Mike says time. All right. So I'm going to check it out. Where, do, where is it at now? I got uh, Netflix, access to Hulu, Amazon Prime. Those are the three. And maybe I got cinema. So which, where is it showing at now, Rob? Yeah. And, and I know, I know why. And we got two minutes. So here's what I'm going to do real quick. Let's do this real quick. Sell it, Rob. Why should we watch it? Hands down, uh, one of the best E.T. movies, period, truthfully. Definitely on Netflix. Giving Nope a run for his money. Uh, creepy is the right word for it. Authentic, it, it would appear to be. 
And just like I said, I told you before, the movie came out before all of this disclosure stuff uh, started happening. So it technically sci-fi, but now mm -hmm. in today's age, it's actually reality. So when you watch it and you consider that, it makes it even more creepy. You definitely have to check it out. All right. Y'all heard it. Rob says check it out and pretty much. All right. We got 50 seconds. We're going to, uh, we'll still be here. We'll get off in a minute. But anyway, we're going to be closing this out right now uh, for UNX Radio. This is Why the Big Seeker. Thank you guys for listening and the live show from there. Okay. So, yeah. So we're no longer live on the radio, but we're still here. All right. So that means I can give you guys a, a authentic goodbye. Doesn't cost anything to watch on freebie. Uh, Mike said, if I want a bootleg copy, he got me. Won't watch Netflix anytime after the promote promoted uh, cuties. I don't even know. Oh, I've heard about that. Was some, like something was crazy. And C-Tech said he was all right from there. Okay. So. All right, everyone. This is. Why the big secret is Friday. We're off a little early for you. Uh, but I just want to remind you that, uh, as Rob G says, we are coming to a point to where things are about to hit the fan and things are about to hit whatever else. Um, I'm a little different with that. I still think the big secret keepers are, are just going to change the rules because the game is not going to go away. They're just going to change the rules. And we got to adapt to the new rules to begin searching for the truth uh and that's just one of the things we got to do so i'm open to that i'm really excited about that but i want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the show tonight it means a lot just your time your time of being here says a lot um and as we're growing we got several thousands of people we've grown six seven i think 700 new subscribers in the last week and a half that is phenomenal and i mean we're doing something right okay uh, on Billy Carson's channel, that video of the show that we did last Tuesday, the first one uh, had 20 some thousand views within a week. This other one got 25,000 views within a day and a half. That's a testament to all of us and how we put together our community. And now we're all going to be one. So, you know, uh, take care of yourself, you know, be out here understanding that uh, there's a lot going on, but in the UFO space, we all should clap today. We all should give ourselves one more notch on the belt. We can go to somebody and say, I told you so. If that's what you want to do. And you can go to anyone else and say, hey, UFO taxes. Because if they pay taxes, they're in on it. So that's my speech for tonight. I love each and every one of you. I really do. I, I really do. Um, and so be safe. We'll talk to you. If not Monday, then it will be Tuesday on uh, Forbid Knowledge TV, and we'll be back here Wednesday. But more likely, we'll be here Monday. So uh, much love to each and one of you.